Hey guys, thanks for tuning back. Luke Spencer's RC. As you tell, got our cool project. Our completed project now. You're looking at a fully restored 1987 Tamiya Striker. This would be kit number 58061 in their lineup. Pretty special car. Um, I always like these. They got that F1 inspired look. Uh, also, it's kind of got the Starship design. To me, it was starting to leave the uh, rail buggies in the past a bit and move straight into the future. Love it. Uh, still got the 80s vibe to it. So, super happy with the uh, the buggy way it turned out. We did a lot of stuff to this thing because we had a, um, a broken donor. But also, you're probably wondering if you're familiar with the Striker, why not a white Striker? And there's a reason behind that. And that reason is, back in, in 87, I believe, to me, it released a video. It may have been actually a little earlier and just kind of gave a nod to what was coming from Tamiya. I don't know when that video was uh, shot exactly, but I'm thinking it was 1987. Uh, this car was issued out in February, so who knows? It could have been January. Uh, but anyway, so very cool um, to know that uh, there's a video of this car <laughs> by Tamiya. And they would show a green version in that video. I'll show you a snippet right now. So pretty cool. I've had these cars throughout the time. I never did that other car in that video. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the green. Definitely tough to do. Uh, just because it's so hard to find that type of green that they chose. I, nobody really knows exactly. So I just kind of watched the video and it kind of went with the best I could find. Um, it may be a shade lighter, maybe a shade darker. I don't know, but it, in the certain lights, it looks pretty close and I'm pretty happy with them. So um, let me explain what we used in order to make this car look like it, like it does now, besides a lot, a lot of work. Um, we went with a Rust-Oleum uh, spring green for the paint, uh, uh, MCI decals, reproduction decals for the car, uh, CRP drive shafts, uh, 1616s. I've used these in the Timia Falcon build and restoration. If you haven't seen that video, go back, check that video. That's a great one. Uh, turned out awesome. And uh, we got a Sport Tune GT Sport Tune motor. This would be uh, 779. It's a 25 turn motor. This was not bad. This was like around $27 uh, off Amazon. So it turned out pretty good. Very good motor and looks good. So it's got the blue in there that I was hoping to get. Um, so we got that. Um, I added some decals of my own on the car. So a little bit of carbon fiber right in the back headrest area. And then right in here, a little carbon fiber hidden. So a little bit of my own little uh, touches to it besides, oh, and ball bearings. Got ball bearings in this thing, much needed. So I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'm pretty sure the video will go through all of it and exp uh, explain a little bit more about how it got here. Uh, yeah. Um, the rims were pretty, pretty messed up. We also went with brand new tires for the rear. Front ones were just soaked in some oil for a while. They turned out okay. Um, so nothing too crazy. Just basically started off with a broken striker and then uh, just put a whole lot of uh, elbow grease in this one to get her looking good. So yeah, it's not, nothing too crazy. I think anybody could build one of these. Pretty simple cars to build. Um, and these do have notorious spots for breakage everywhere, pretty much everywhere. This one's got a couple breaks in the chassis. I had to seal up and stuff like that, but. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna run a little bit here and there, and then it's gonna be my one of my display cars. So and that's pretty much it. We won't keep you any longer with me just ra rambling on, uh, but I will show you inside quickly. Um, we got a, a Sterilite plastic uh, container cutout uh, piece of plastic that I used to hold the uh, ESC. That's a 10, that's a 10 uh, 60 quick run that I use in a lot of the videos. I love it. Just always reliable and waterproof and all that uh, and super cheap like 20 bucks and then uh, we use a 2056 uh traxxas servo kind of using it because it's blue but actually it's a really good servo um, and waterproof too it's the reason for that so 
We do have the MSC that will go back in here. We're running a 2.4 gigahertz radio in it. So good signal. Don't have to worry about it running into anything. So yeah, super stoked. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go into what it took to make this striker look like the video promo version. And then we're going to go into the top speed and running portion. I'll start right now. Time for the striker teardown. Alrighty, guys, the Tamiya striker has been disassembled. Got all the parts laid out. We can look through it really good and see if there's anything broken. So far, nothing really, really bad except for on the chassis. Right there. So that's going to need to be uh, repaired. Um, and then we got the wing. But that's two of the main things. Then we got the uh, the rims that we got to get those fixed up looking good. So we're going to wash everything first, get everything uh, cleaned, and then we'll go into the repairs. All right. So now we got our parts soaking up in some uh, soapy water. We need to put our focus in on the transmission housing and making sure there's no broken gears. Alrighty guys, before we get started, I want to express what we're going to do to make this car a little bit better, a little faster. We're going to be put installing new drive shafts because one of the drive shafts actually has a slight crack and a slight bent. These are from T, uh, C, Team uh, uh, CRP and it's number 1616. These are great little um, aftermarket uh, drive shafts for these and uh, they're a little lighter too. So that it will actually give a benefit there. We got a GT Tune sport motor that's going to be going into this car. Uh, very attractive motor as well. So good upgrade. We got the new tires for the back because the original ones were toast. They were cracked and, and broken. So that's going to be awesome. We do need to sand the rims up some and get those uh, ready for a fresh coat of white paint. Uh, driver's helmet and everything like that paints all fairly well. We're going to get that all painted up. He's going to look good again. Here's what I wanted to give you guys a little bit update on the chassis and, uh, and the body. Uh, all the paint's off pretty much. It's just... It's kind of like bleached itself in the uh, into the plastic. So the yellow paint's been on there for so long that it's kind of buried itself into the plastic. We just want to get it smoothed out as possible as possible uh, with some uh, nice different levels of sandpaper, and that'll be fine. Uh, then once we uh, lay some paint on it, we'll never know any of that stuff's been on the car smooth it just needs a little bit of a sanding right here it's broken so we've got to fill that area in with a new piece of plastic and get that on there for structure and we'll be doing all right so a little bit more work to do but we're getting there guys fix this brake right here this piece of plastic that was missing when we got the car got everything sanded really good this is going to be a back plate that goes in here just like that and um, then we got a little piece of plastic that i had uh, trimmed to, to fit in this little cavity just like that so it'll be like a two piece of plastic but uh, one for support and one for fill and then we're going to use this as the glue adhesive for those pieces um, I'm using JB Well Plastic Bonder, by the way. All right, guys, here it is, the silver can motor, the classic um, inside the striker. Let's see what she goes. 
top speed wise. It's going pretty good actually with that silver can. Let's see what we got guys. 19 miles an hour, not too shabby. All right, guys, so now we're at base up at zero with the uh, 25 turn GT motor. Uh, let's see what she does. I'm not expecting huge increases in speed, but definitely more torque. Let's see what we got. Yeah. See what we got let's see what we got so we got 20 miles an hour out of it uh, pretty happy with it not too shabby now we're going to go into the running portion of the video What a great smooth running car. Lots of nice bounce. I'll tell you, I mean, while the silver can motor is not bad for this car, the 25 turn motor just gives you that mid-range power that's just unbeatable. Uh, very torquey. Steer's pretty good, given the tires are old, but they're not too shabby. It's definitely bouncy on the back. You can see. What a joy to ride, though, and uh, to drive this car. So let's go ahead and um, drive it in some rough terrain, and then we'll uh, take it on a, a minute jump and then to the beach. I get wheel action. Yeah, there it is. No, no scrub on it, so that's kind of nice. You did good. Now let's do a minor jump. Let's do a little jump here and see what she does. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the beach.
All right, let's go back to the asphalt. All right, that's a wrap on this bad boy. I truly appreciate you guys watching my videos. Please hit the like and subscribe. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up, guys. Promise you're not going to want to miss it. Bye. The striker can test your skills to the utmost. Hit the trails and strike out the competition.